it's your girl dima once again and welcome back to another video from the dima designer channel yes you will forgive my voice i have a cold but let me hope you're doing okay let me hope you're all fine yes for our further ado please don't forget to subscribe like my page and leave that notification bell on for any new bangers that will be dropping your way and comment down below yes and today's diy is going to be about this infinity dress yes as you can see i'm demonstrating the difference between the two like how you can wear it and yes the pink one has elastic behind it doesn't have elastic in front the straps are short it is short in front and long behind material is silky yes and the cream one is all round leveled and the strips the straps are long as you can see these are the different ways you can wear it material is linen yes but best material recommended by me would be stretchy soft material but you can use any material you want as you can see i'm demonstrating how you can wear it size length doesn't matter it depends on you long short this basically these dresses are party dresses i would say wedding dresses i would say but it's up to you and where you wear it it's up to you yeah they can be for bridesmaids yes i would say that uh, so let's get to the video and see how easy and fast way we can make this infinity dress yes thank you so basically i'm going to use this linen fabric it is just one yard and a half pair of scissors and a tape measure but like i said stretchy material is better than any other material if you're just starting because you won't need a lot of uh, adjustment and stuff because like uh, buttons put buttons somewhere or put uh, elastic somewhere like i said it's just perfect and less sewing you understand so i fold my fabric into two and then fold it into two once again you forgive my voice like i said i have a cold and yes if you have a bigger yard a bigger yard fabric like if your yard your fabric is bigger than mine you don't need to fold it twice and then fold it again you just have to fold it once so first and foremost you measure your waist and then measure the length of your dress that is the first step you measure the length of your dress so i'll measure the length of my dress as five that is my waist five inches if i had a soft material it will be less maybe three or four or two because it is stretchy yes so i measure five reason being i'll adjust yes and then measure the length of my dress which is 15 yes which is 15 and go round following with my tape measure like i was demonstrating you follow with your tape measure yes you go around following with your tape measure so my length is just 15 yes like i said if you have a bigger yard you don't need to fold it into two and then fold it into two once again you just have to fold it once yes so then you go on cutting following your measurements you go on cutting following your measurements yes after it will look like this it will look like this so like i said if you have a bigger yard there won't be two pieces it will be just one piece around and if it was stretchy you won't need adjustment so after i put it together and so the sides i put it together like this and so the sides it would look like that and so the size like i said if your material was stretchy you will not need elastics buttons or anything for adjustment but since my material is not stretchy i'll need to adjust with these elastics to the size of my waist so the the pieces that i cut from this fabric i'll don't throw them away they're going to act as my straps as you can see i'm demonstrating I'm going to put them onto my dress so I'll cut them into pieces that will cover my chest yes as you can see it is done 
so thanks for watching my videos please don't forget to subscribe like and comment